Welcome back to my channel. I am here with an empties and melting basket. I have quite a lot. I think I made my melting basket too big. <laughs> I have a few um, holdovers, like leftover. I don't know what's the word for that. Like I have things I didn't finish that are going to continue to be in here. Um, my my goal is not to do like a weekly melting basket, but just to kind of like pick things out, and then when I run out, I will film and pick out more. Um, but I've not quite run out, but I am just really wanting some fall scents. <laughs> and so my approach was that I went through everything and I pulled out all of the things I had that were from like March and April or earlier um, to melt those up. And I think I had like a couple of other things in here um, that were samples. Um, but I have a couple things I didn't quite finish. But they're things that I love and I don't want to like rush finishing them, but I also am really craving some fall scents, so I wanted to like pull those in um, to my melting basket so I can start making my way through my fall scents that I love so much. Um, so we're going to dive into these empties first. Um, I have quite a few as you will see. I also I got a wax warmer for my new work office um, and my colleagues I think are enjoying my <laughs> making our whole office smell great um, but so I'm starting to bring like samples or like really small amounts of things because it's just a single wax warmer and I don't want to like overtake too much with the smell um, so I am going through those a little faster than I have in the past because of that so oh gosh this is this is a mess. Okay, let me pull up my sheet of my rating so I can remember and tell you all correctly. And my, oh gosh, I have so many piles. <laughs> my apologies. Okay, um, so we'll start with this. This was a must-have, is what it's called, from Birdies. Um, on cold, I gave this a 7. Blueberry muffin, sugar lemon, vanilla custard on warm I couldn't smell anything at all. Um, I've been having that lately with scent shot cups and I'm thinking perhaps I need to bag them as well that maybe like the scent is just like leaving before I'm able to melt them. This was from May so it has been like a few months that it's been in that scent shot cup container. Um, then we have Hey Hey from Fantasy Wax. This was watermelon fizzy pop one of my favorite combos. Um, on cold, I gave it an eight, and on warm, I gave it a nine out of 10. Um, in my house, in my like bigger areas, I could barely smell it. But in my office, I used my last like little fourth, and everyone in the office loved it. So maybe it's also like some of these things just don't work in my big open concept right now, especially with like our air conditioning going so hard. Um, also from Fantasy Wax, I have Tefiti which is a volcano type, classic, nine out of 10 for me on warm and cold, four out of five throw, I enjoyed that. Um, and then I have some small samples from Sassy Girl Aroma. So we have cucumber sea salt. Um, I gave this a seven on cold, like I liked it. Three on warm. And it was very strong to the point that I had to take it out. Like I couldn't handle it. I did not like it. Was not, I don't know. I think I just really don't like cucumber scents on warm. Uh, I also, similarly, I had to take out this as well. I did both of these in my office. And I think that's part of it too, is if it's like really strong and I'm not loving it, or I think it's like something people might not love, I don't want to make my whole office smell like that. So this is Better Than Sex Cake, Brownie Batter, Cupcakes at Tiffany's from L3. Similar, 6 out of 10 on cold, but 3 out of 10 on warm, and I had to take it out. It was so strong. I just, I also don't love chocolate and wax. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's not for me. Um, then we have Lemons in Paradise from Sassy Girl. Um, 7 out of 10 on cold and warm, 4 out of 5 throw. It was pretty good. Ocean Mango. Uh, also from Sassy Girl, 5 out of 10 on cold, 7 out of 10 on warm, um, 4 out of 5 throw, and my office mates really liked this one. 
Oh, this was also volcano type from Fantasy Wax, which we already talked about. And then we have the Be Delicious type from Fantasy Wax. Eight out of 10 on cold, seven out of 10 on warm. Three out of five throw. It was lighter, but it was very pleasant. I feel like, especially in the office, I kind of like when things aren't super strong because again, I don't want to like overwhelm people that aren't choosing this <laughs> in the way that I am. Um, Witch Bitch from L3. Um, I didn't take any notes on. Um, I think this was pretty like Palo Santo heavy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I remember vaguely that it had a decent throw and it was like medium. It wasn't my favorite, but I didn't hate it. Then we have Hufflepuff from L3. Um, I have this in like bigger amounts. I quite like it. Um, but this was like a sample, obviously, that I warmed in my office. Um, sorry, it's not in my empty sheet because I didn't finish all of it that I have. Uh, 9 out of 10 on cold, 7 out of 10 on warm, 5 out of 5 throw. I liked it. It was okay. Um, from That Smell Good Shop, we have 1, 2, Freddy's Coming For You. Um, which I gave a 7 on both warm and cold and 5 out of 5 throw. Um, it was very strong in my work office. She sends you like two little cubes and I have a bigger thing of it and I do like it. Then we have, sorry, let me find this again. <laughs> I should really like print these out before I start filming. Okay. We have Fruity Pebbles Zucchini Bread from L3, 9 out of 10 on cold, 8 out of 10 on warm, 5 out of 5 throw. L3 generally does well for me. Um, then we have Dolly's Coconut Cake. So I don't love coconut, <laughs> um, but I do love Dolly Parton and I love BCS. Um, so this was like a 5 out of 10 on cold, 6 out of 10 on warm, 3 out of 5 throw. It was okay. I would not repurchase because I, I don't love coconut. Um, but I got that while I was like purposefully purchasing a different Dolly Parton scent in a D stash. Um, next I have cotton candy from that smell good shop and oh my gosh, this is the best cotton candy I've ever had. It says sponge sugar, vanilla, berries, eight out of nine on cold, or sorry, eight out of 10 on cold, nine out of 10 on warm, five out of five throw. It actually smells like cotton candy. I feel like that never happens. Like it's just kind of like a sweet scent generally, like it smells like sugar. But this smelled like cotton candy and I want to buy more. It's very good. Okay, we have Once Upon a Dream from L3. Um, 8 out of 10 on both cold and warm, 4 out of 5 throw. This is the one, it's like grass, watermelon, and strawberries. And I loved it and I was shocked that it had grass in it. Um, but the grass is very faint and I think it just gives it like a little bit more of like a earthy note. Um, then we have Nightcap from Rainbow Melts. This is one of the best coffee scents I have ever melted. I give it 8 out of 10 on cold, 10 out of 10 on warm, 5 out of 5 throw. Uh, I think I was hesitant because it has coconut cream in it, but that gives it this like really smooth creaminess. And like, it, oh, it's like making my mouth water, like thinking about how good this was. Like the best coffee ever. Uh, so good. Then I have Coffee Makes Me Poop from L3, um, 9 out of 10 on cold, 7 out of 10 on warm, 3 out of 5 throw. Um, I like warmed this and then left for a little while and came back and sometimes Birdies is like really strong and then like tapers off a little faster I think because it's so soft. Um, and I normally like that because I want to change my wax more often but I just didn't get to smell this a ton because I was gone for quite a while. Um, then I have Cool Beans from Rainbow Melts. Um, it was fine, is what I wrote. <laughs> 8 out of 10 on cold, 6 out of 10 on warm, 3 out of 5 throw. So, yeah, it was it was fine. Not my favorite. Uh, then we have Shell Yeah from Birdies. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, 8 out of 10 on both... Uh, warm and cold and um, 
four out of five throw. All right, I have like these things not all in the same place and I'm apologetic for how unorganized I am while I'm filming this video. Um, so for just another Manic Monday from Birdies, where is this in my sheet? Huh. Hmm. I do remember this. So this is like the really large bar that has like a cup on it. And I'm shocked that it's nowhere to be found. But um, I feel like it was like a 7 out of 10 on warm and like a 4 out of 5 throw. Like it's like a decent coffee scent. Um, from Rose Girls, we have cotton candy. Frosting, sorry, um, cotton candy frosting, and this was also like shockingly pretty good. I feel like I have had really mixed experiences with cotton candy since, and um, I really enjoyed this. So I gave it a seven on both warm and cold, five out of five throw. From L three, we have strawberry pound cake and Fruit Loops. And I gave this an 8 out of 10 on both warm and cold, 5 out of 5 throw. From Birdies, we have Happiness Starts With Your Soul, which is grape and cotton candy frosting. 7 on both warm and cold, 5 out of 5 throw. It was like the grape was really nice, but the cotton candy I think made it like a little too sweet. Uh, then we have Cup of Ambition from Vintage Chic Scents. Um, and again, I love Dolly Parton. Um, so 9 out of 10 on cold, 7 out of 10 on warm, 4 out of 5 throw. I think it was like maybe the cake or something in this gave it just like, I don't know, it smelled like coffee with something that shouldn't be in it. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. Like I liked it, but it was definitely not my favorite. Um, then we have chai, oatmeal cookies, brown sugar, pound cake from L3. I gave it a 7 on cold, 6 on warm, and a 2 out of 5 throw. Like it was pretty light, and it was hard to smell unless you got like in there. Um, and then this was like a taco sampler thing from Birdies that had like a bunch of different pieces that made up this bigger thing, which was every now and then I fall apart, pistachio, ice cream, pretzel, zucchini bread. Uh, I gave it a 7 out of 10 on both warm and cold, 3 out of 5 throw. I said it was a little light, but it was good. And then last empties I have candy kisses from rainbow melts I gave this a 10 on cold and like I literally could not rate it on warm and no throw like it just didn't smell like anything at all while it was warming uh, and then lastly we have pink sugar zucchini bread um, from rainbow melts as well I gave this a five on cold but I would it was like a seven on warm and it threw really well um like a five out of five throw um yeah so those are the last of my empties and then these are my things that are hanging on for a little bit longer that i just haven't finished um so we have wild berry mousse blackberry jam buttermilk pie from l3 i do like this this is actually of these this is like my least favorite um, it's good. I think it's just been like at the bottom and I haven't been seeing it to be honest with you. Um, then we have from Birdies So Fortunate, which is caramel apple cheesecake and coffee bean. And she's good. This is one that I sometimes am like, I don't know if I love cheesecake <laughs> since, but I actually do like this and it doesn't have the sourness that cheesecake sometimes does. I've melted like half of this. This is shrimply the best which cracks me up. Zucchini bread, strawberry jam, sugar cookies, and this looks just like shrimp. Um, like, it's like kind of freaky. And it's really good. I really enjoyed melting this the other day. And I will be excited to melt it again. Then we have It's Okay to Make Mistakes, which is, was a steak shape. Cafe Vienna, cinnamon toast crunch, zucchini bread, hint of pretzel. Melted a small amount of this, and it was real good. Oh, I can't wait to melt the rest of it. I want to like be here to enjoy it because I love it. And then I also am carrying over, I melted some of this, which is Hannah's Baby Strawberry White Cake Zucchini Bread. 
absolutely love it and this is another one like I don't want to melt it if I'm not going to be here the whole time to enjoy it so she's staying in there because I refuse to waste it okay and then I've grabbed a few things um, mostly from my fall drawer with a couple of exceptions and these are my oldest fall scents so again I'm trying to warm like older things first um, they've been curing longer makes more sense. Um, so I grab the oldest fall things so I can start breaking these in. And then I do have a couple of things I just got in a de-stash that are older glitterati um, that are not necessarily fall, but I'll warm those in the days that it's super hot. So we'll start with those. We have Sangria White Peach Cotton Candy. I said in my fall video this, like, peach gives me, like, a weird note sometimes, but I really like this one. We'll see how it does on warm. Um, that'll be good for when it's like a hot next week. It's like cold right now and rainy and it's supposed to be like that for a few days and then get hot again. But I want it to be fall right now. <laughs> then we have pink sugar, blue sugar, sandalwood. And this is really good. It's really good sandalwood. I feel indifferent about sandalwood at times, but I quite like that one. Um, okay. And then we have pecan pie from Fantasy Wax. This is one of my favorite fantasy wax scents oh it's really good i hope they bring this back this year so i can get more i'm like a little sad to see this go i've been hoarding it because i love it then we have barbara which is pumpkin apple butter and i like this it's a little craft story but it's good from l3 we have basic witch which is vanilla bean pumpkin spice pumpkin pecan waffles Ooh, it has gotten very spicy since it has been curing, but I'm excited for that. It definitely is like spice heavy, so we'll see if these other things come out on warm. Um, you'll notice I have a lot of these things with handwritten labels. These are from a D stash that I bought, um, and so these things are like from last year at least, I think, um, from the person I bought them from. So, Glitterati caramelized pralines. She's real good. I think I just like praline or pecan type scents. Um, from VCS, J Jamie's Halloween Treats. And this is like, like cinnamon candy corn, <laughs> that's how I would describe it. Um, so a lot of these are pretty small, you'll notice. And so some of these I'm going to take to my office. Um, VCS Elm Street. And maybe this one's candy corn, actually. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm, I'm on the fence. VCS, Jackie O's, Pumpkin... Perfect pumpkin pie. Um, she's good. Smells like pumpkin pie. Nothing to report special yet. VCS Silver Shamrock. This one is uh, whew, cinnamon heavy. Um, like blow you out of the house cinnamon. Glitterati Creme Brulee Pear Caramel Vanilla Ice Cream. It's pretty good. I also really like pear scents I'm learning, which is funny. I don't love to eat pears. Uh, candles from the Keeping Room, Cinnamon, Apples, and Peaches. Oh, she's good. Oh, that's a good apple. You all know I don't love apple. I like that. Also, candles from the Keeping Room, Marshall Fireside. Classic Marshall Fireside scents. Pretty good. And Pear Spice Donuts from them. Also pretty good. And again, I'm learning I love pear. Alright. And then we have Elm Street, is rainbow melts, Palo Santo sugar cookie marshmallow. Smells like a sweet Palo Santo. My partner will love that one. <laughs> From L3 cinnamon chai. Also very cinnamon heavy. We got a lot of cinnamon this week. Um, or this basket. Uh, L3 all the goods, pumpkin pecan waffles, zucchini bread sugar cookie dough. This is a good like fall bakery. Oh, I love that. It's like pretty buttery. That's not your thing. Um, VCS, the Warren's glazed cinnamon donuts, a warm cup of mold cider topped with gooey marshmallows, caramel drizzle, and sweet cinnamon. And this one is like a little too apple cider to be like my fave, but I'm excited to see how it does on a warm. And then lastly, VCS, Dolly cinnamon bread, sweet cinnamon bread topped with cream cheese glaze. 
went to Dollywood recently while I was traveling and y'all know I had to get some of Dolly's bread. This good. This is a really cinnamon heavy week <laughs> now that I'm thinking more about it. Um, yeah, so that is my melting basket. Thank you for watching. Let me know, are you melting any of these same things soon? Um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one.